from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. These are your latest headlines this morning. Police hope you can help them solve the city's latest homicide. Around 3 o'clock this morning, police were called to Ritter Avenue near 19th Street on reports of a person down when officers on the scene found a man with a gunshot wound on the front porch of an apartment. Investigators say that he died at the scene. If you have any information that could help police solve this case, please call Crime Stoppers. Services will begin today for our retired Indianapolis firefighter who lost a battle with cancer. Chief Mark Rapp died on Friday. The battalion chief started his career with IFD back in 1979. Chief Rapp was a founding member of Indiana Task Force One and was deployed to New York City following the terrorist attacks back on September 2001. IFD says Chief Rapp's cancer was a result of his service there at Ground Zero. Visitation for Chief Rapp is scheduled for 4 to 8 p.m. at Crown Hill Funeral Home on 38th Street. A memorial for Chief Rapp is planned for tomorrow at 7 p.m. Today is the big day for those looking forward to the greatest spectacle in racing. The famous blue envelopes will be sent on their journey later today. 2016 Indy 500 winner Alexander Rossi has the honor of sending out the first blue envelope. The 106 running of the Indianapolis 500 is set for Sunday, May 29th, which is only 80 days away. Looking forward to that, Todd, and looking forward to some warmer weather eventually. <laughs> you know, we'll get there next week. We're back above normal, but before that happens, uh, we have a little speed bump in the forecast. Not today. It's pretty seasonable with temperatures in the 40s and 50s. This evening, you're fine as well. 40s down into the 30s with partly cloudy skies. Our issues are tomorrow as a band of snow is going to make its way through the area. Tomorrow morning, a few snow showers, more of a steady band of snow in the afternoon, especially in southern locations with about one to two inches of snow, a possibility. Here's that band of snow in the northern parts during the morning hours. Then in the afternoon, it kicks in here in southern locations.